Welcome to Storytime with Miss Markey. I'm Miss Markey and today we're going to be reading a really cool book called <gasps> Hooray for Hobby! This one is by Tim Hopgood who actually wrote the book Walter's Wonderful Web which we read on here before which is also totally awesome which if you haven't already read that book go check it out on our channel now because it's super cool and great and awesome if I didn't already say that. <laughs> All right, hooray for Hoppy. Now this one talks about our five senses. And I wonder if you'll be able to pick up on that as we go along. <gasps> Hoppy woke up bright and early. He wiggled his nose and sniffed the air. Perhaps today's the day, he thought. But as he hopped to the top of his hole, he saw that the world was covered in snow. Ugh, too cold, he said, and he hopped back to bed. I don't blame him. I would also hop back to bed. I don't like the cold. Now the next morning, when Hoppy hopped to the top of his hole, his nose felt cold and the grass felt crunchy. Ugh, too icy, he said, and he hopped back to bed. Mm, icy isn't good either. But a few days later, Hoppy woke up much earlier than usual. Perhaps today is the day, he thought. Hoppy twitched his nose. The air smelled fresh. Perhaps today really is the day. The day that spring arrives. Oh, that's what he's waiting for. So, so, Hoppy hopped down the hill to see if it was true. See, there he is right there, little guy. Boingy, 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 boingy. Let's see. Oh, hooray, said Hoppy, as he heard the birds singing. It sounds like spring has sprung. Oh, and look at that. Now, when I read this with my four-year-old, who absolutely loves this book, we always <laughs> call these the angry birds, even though they're happy. Because you know what? He's obsessed with the Angry Birds show and the games and all that. So we always call this one the Green Bird, obviously, because it's green. And Toucan is green in Angry Birds. We have the Orange Bird. He calls this one the Red Bird. That's actually brown, though. You see that? It's kind of hard. It's kind of close to red, though. And we have the Black for Bomb. <laughs> the Blue Bird. And then that one he calls Chuck. <laughs> So it sounds like spring has sprung. Sounds. Oh, hooray, said Hoppy. Oh, as he sniffed the pretty flowers, it smells like spring has sprung. He's smelling the flowers. Yeah. Hooray, said Hoppy, as he watched the lambs in the meadow. It looks like spring has sprung. He's using his eyes now, right? Hooray, said Hoppy, as he nibbled the fresh green grass. It tastes like spring has sprung. Tasting, it's another one of the five senses. Oh, hip, hip, hooray, said Hoppy as his feet touched the warm ground. It even feels like spring has sprung. Feel, yeah. Oh man, today really is the day, thought Hoppy. He couldn't wait to see his friends. But when he reached the top of the hill, oh, I don't like butts. Oh, nobody was there. So he thumped his back feet as hard and as loud as he possibly could. So he's going like this with his back feet, right? Turn the page like this. Oh, <laughs> All of those rabbits. Hooray, shouted all the rabbits as Hoppy leapt high in the air. Spring had definitely and most wonderfully sprung. Oh my goodness. Oh, look. And here are the five senses that we talked about in the book. See? There's hearing when we heard the birds. Smelling when Hoppy was smelling the flowers, right? Sight when he was looking at the lambs in the meadow. Taste 
when he was tasting the green grass and touch when he felt the warmth of the ground with his feet. Those are our five senses. Hearing, smelling, seeing, tasting, and touching. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that was such a fun book. Thank you guys so much for reading with us today. Uh, I love every time you can come and read with us. And if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe so we can read more books together, okay? Now you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping in. Bye.